the Tercentenary Stakes is next. And there's a big feel for this one. This is a 10 furlong class 2, 0 to 120. And what have we got at the top? We've got John Lennon for Paul Rhodes, straight out of some Group 1, so some top class horses in this. Green Mantle for Craig Beckwith, Fuente Alamo, Darren Thompson, Smashy Joshua Sutherland, Marketeer Paul Rhodes, Mexican Cowboy Leon Van Rensburg, Cuban Manalan, and Prickles Burn for David Robertson, Verinar for Satya, Mystify Craig Beckwith, Zagalini's Baldini, Dan Hughes, Sir Val David Hooley, Santa Monica Emerald, Vinnie Gerard, Court Minstrel, Graham Clutterbuck, Nightboat to Cairo, Padre Horgan, Ashkelani, Leaf James Shea, Steamboat Sun. Graham Clutterbuck, Classic Mode and Finish Ella for Alex Cherry, Do It Again Satyam and Pierre G for Michael Scala. So 21, a nice mix of horses dropping down from the Classics and some high grade handicappers and away they go and one or two of the lightweights could be pretty dangerous in this and right over on the far side John Lennon the top weight has gone straight into the lead and is now going to be racing across to the near side to try and get that fence but Fuente Alamo and Smashy might have better ideas than Mexican Cowboy is next then comes Night Motor Caro Prickles burn the big guns up the front early and it's John Lennon in the lead then from Mexican Cowboy in second Night Motor Caro in third Smashy is fourth then comes Fuente Romero and Cuban Mananan with Prickles Burn also close up there as well. But John Lennon is the leader by about a length to Mexican Cowboy in second. Smashy on the outside is third. Then comes Steamboat Sally and Fuente Alamo. Then comes Serval and Cuban Manaman with Nightboats of Cairo wide on the track as well. Looking towards the back, Green Mantle has got to go past everybody. Varany has got pretty much all of them to go by as well. But it's John Lennon in the lead then by about two lengths to Smashy in second. Then on the outside of that one is Serval. Well, on the inside rail, Mexican Cowboy, Prickles, Burn, and Cuban Man and two David Robertson horses are racing together and are both prominent. Wider on the track, Santa Monica Emerald for Vinnie Gerard is close enough as well. Then also coming there through with a run on the wide outside looks to be Mystify, Veronier, Marketeer also trying to get into it, Mystify's not out of it but it's John Lennon in the lead, Zagalini's Baldini's come through from nowhere to take second they're racing down towards the final three furlongs and John Lennon's in the lead Zagalini's Baldini is second, Serval is third, Fuente Alamo four, then Smashy and Prickles Burn, Nightboat Cairo, Mexican Cowboy, Cuban, Nanalan, Ashkelani Leaf is trying to run on but John Lennon has kicked on for home, two furlongs to go and John Lennon in the lead from Zagalini's Baldini in second Fuente Alamo, third Prickles Burn, Nightboat to Cairo up the centre of the track, he's really running on, John Lennon hits the wall, here comes Zagalini's Baldini, then comes Fuente Alamo, Nightboat to Cairo up the centre of the track, Nightboat to Cairo, Prickles Burn, Fuente Alamo, this is going to be a head bomb against it's Fuente Alamo and Prickles Burn, Fuente Alamo on the near side, and Fuente Alamo is going to take it, Fuente Alamo takes it, four winners at Royal Ascot so far for Darren Thompson, Serval finish over, Ashkelani leaves after that, all the way back to Mystified, John Lennon dropped right out of it in the end. It's Fuente Alamo for Darren Thompson. That's his fourth winner of the week so far at Ascot. Takes it. Sir Val for David Hooley. Second, Smashy for Joshua Sutherland was third. Finish Ella, Alex Cherry was fourth. And Ashkelani Leaf for James Shea was fifth.